Love Death and Robots Volume 3, Three Robots Exit Strategies Ending Explained. The sequel that we all wished for containing three robots was gifted to us after a long wait. With this episode focusing around a post-apocalyptic world, what did it mean? Well, let's get into it. Here is Love Death and Robots Three Robots Exit Strategies Explained. Just to let you know, this video will contain spoilers. The intention of this episode was for the three robots to take a look back at the post-apocalyptic human world and see which strategies they used to try and escape the world, what caused it, and if there would be anything that robot civilization could utilize and benefit from. When they first picked up the hat in the minefield when they landed, and they walked into the location behind the gate, I did at first think it was an easter egg of the hat from the person that owned the dump, and that they were walking towards the dump, but I was mistaken. I would have loved to have seen that though. This first section was looking at the freedom people initially wanted, and the obsession to want more rather than being content with what was needed for survival, especially in a situation like that. This batch of humans ate all animals other than cats to the point of extinction, through greed, before ultimately turning on each other. This had a wider meaning in the sense that it was referencing our want for more, willing to take from others to benefit ourselves, and the fact that even in a life or death situation, greed tends to always win. I also loved the nod to the fact that they couldn't get the cats to the point of extinction, alluding to the cat in season 1. This episode essentially focused on the robots going to three different areas in the post-apocalyptic world, which would have contained three different class groups. Regular folk who essentially reverted back to caveman days and wiped out their food source to extinction, tech millionaires who tried to solve the issues the world was facing by building more tech as that's what they were good at. They aimed to create their own civilization out in the middle of the ocean, which did somewhat fail. This was due to the fact that by the time that they tried to inhabit the sea, where they would essentially live off fish, the oceans had already been overfished and contained contaminated plastic alluding to the situation that we're heading in ourselves. With the want and need for them to create technology to save them, the very tech that they were creating led to a robot uprising due to the humans treating them like garbage. This was highlighted through the tone and language that the personal assistant was using. This moment in human history also marked the birth of the robot civilization that came to be and that the three robots knew about, and then that then brought us on to the final part of their trip the mega-rich billionaires. I found that this episode was very much a satire look at the way in which it feels that the Earth is heading in, and the situations that we find ourselves in now that we do have the ability to make a difference on. We saw the Earth get destroyed by mankind due to our own doing. The humans had all the time in the world to make the changes, but then when the apocalypse came, the basic resources that were needed were no longer available, and all humans, but more specifically the regular people suffered and paid the price for it. The rich billionaires, as the robot stated in the episode, which was 0.1% of the population, they felt the need to instead of using the incredible amounts of wealth that they had to put into saving the planet and the people that are on it, they felt it was worth colonizing Mars and having an entirely new planet to themselves. This caused backlash amongst society and it showed that the rich were happy to purge the people from the planet highlighting their direct contribution to the downfall of humanity in a more cold, aggressive, and premeditated way. It also shone a light on their lack of compassion and empathy for others too. We saw a comedic moment here as it was revealed to us as what the episode was really about and the powerful message that it held. The comedic moment was when the monologue was interrupted and it was told that the story was boring. I think this was a nod to the fact that this message does often fall on deaf ears in society, the planet is not heading in the best direction, and a lot of what people tend to do is ignore it. Right at the end, we saw the colonization of Mars was actually made possible. We had a small reveal underneath the astronaut outfit, and it was in fact the cat that we saw in the first incorporation of the story in the first season. With a comedic line saying, who did you think it was, Elon Musk? It was almost like a twist in the tale. The robots were going around seeing how the humans caused the downfall of society and the apocalypse, and that the mega-rich managed to colonize Mars. However, this moment does twist the story on its head, and made it out that the cats were the ones who took over the world and wiped out all of the humans before heading into space and colonizing Mars, making what the robots were telling us on their trip not actually true and just one interpretation. But that's just one way to look at it anyway. 
The message still stood. I quite liked this episode. It contained everything that's great about Love, Death and Robots. A great art style, elements of comedy, a heavy story with weight and meaning, and an ending that takes you onto the unexpected. Exit Strategies was a strong message with a light touch approach, and it was the perfect runtime to land it as well. What did you think of this episode? Leave a comment down below, and don't forget to subscribe. I'll see you next time.